This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm right back here with another episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we got started on getting Murray out of this place, but we got so many more to go and got a lot of uh, cool bottles. Just got one more left to go, which is up here on the top of this building here. We'll get the uh, treasure for it later, which I guess, the, from what I understand, the treasure safe doesn't appear on the si uh, find map until you've... Uh, I actually found them all, so that way it can be like, hey, there it is, so that's cool. Anyway, let's continue figuring out how to get Murray out of this place and then deal with the Contessa, so. Alright, time to go, woo! But, uh, yeah, we spent a lot of episodes chasing after keys. That was the longest, was just getting the two keys from her, surprisingly enough. Uh, I didn't have that big of an issue with that, I just find it interesting. Sly, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off. Then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see... You lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. It's kind of interesting to have a main character that isn't like... You know, sometimes, like, leaders or main characters of groups will be an amalgamation of all the, like, current, like, members of a team or whatever. So it is kind of nice that Sly doesn't have, like, the brains of Bentley or at least as smart. He's more intuitive than than straight-up intelligent. Well, I mean, I guess it is a type of intelligence. It's just nice different types, now like being... That key to set off the security you know, being more ability to just think on your feet than just straight book smarts, you know? You know what they say, street smarts and book smarts, you know? Anyway, let's set off the alarm. Ow! Okay, now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor. I mean, might as well do that, right? Okay, let's get this. I assume it won't let me, like... It won't green out until it's actually there, right? Oh, am I just out... Aw, oh, come on, man. There we go. Got it. Well, I saw it, so it counts. Okay, so. Alright, got one there, two, three. Okay, so let's get the closest one first. So. Yeah, apparently if we're going to set these things off, we're going to be causing some small bodily harm to our uh, raccoon friend if we're going to get shot. Oh, God. Oh, oh man. It, it burns, it burns. The bullets in my, or I mean the, uh, the pellets are nerfing my flesh. Oh, <laughs> just trying to come up with sillier reasons why it's not bullets that they're using against us. Actually, even though it is an E10 plus game, so I don't see why I can't say bullets to an extent. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, ha I'm just having fun being silly. Yay! Oh yeah, right. I can't actually. I'll have to distract the dude or something because he's not not moving away from that spot. Ooh, we can just get this bell. Ah, ding a ling a ling. It's feeding time. All right, let's get over there before he turns back around. And then get a spot for the. Uh, okay, I need to try to try to find a good spot to climb. There we go. Did he actually go set the alarm or not, or am I going miss it? Oh, come on. Heck. Oh, come on. No! There we go. Wait, what? 
Aw, oh, man, come on. Did you really take that long? <sighs> Dang it. All right, let's do it again. Consarn it. Flippity gibbet. All right, get him over there. Set the alarm. Get there. Yeah, I guess I just missed it. Like, I was about to, uh... uh like, I, I, apparently I just missed the code or something like that. At least that's what it felt like to me, anyway. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, come on, game. Okay, can I can I get it from here, maybe? No. Game? Why do you hate me? Why? I sing your praises on a quite a regular basis, Sly Cooper. And yet, you treat me like this. You treat me like a fool. Whoa. Okay, it almost hit me there. You treat me like I was the fish in the sea. Numerous. Wait, did that, did that count? Oh, I guess it did. Okay. <laughs> the way it just went so quickly, I was just like, what? Uh... Okay, let's get over there fast. I'm trying to, game. I don't know of any quick methods of... Press the button. There we go. We did it! Hooray! The day is saved. There we go. Okay, where's the other one? Okay, one over there, one over there. Okay, let's get to that one. And no, I'm not that annoyed that I messed up multiple times getting it. It's just... It's kind of funny. Although I'll admit, recording this one, I'm doing it later than usual, so maybe I, I'll get a little bit more, uh, more... You know when they say you're tired, you tend to, like, you tend to react differently than, uh, than if you're conscious? I can, I can attest to that, that that is, that is a true thing that can happen. That, uh, that, uh, they say being tired almost gives you the same, uh... Uh, what's the word? Same, like, reaction as if, if, if I was drunk or something like that. Drunk with grape juice? No. Well, actually, certain drinks have that in there. Ah, anyway. Wait, where's the... Was there one around here? Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, hopefully I didn't just kill... Or, hopefully I didn't take out... Knock out the, uh... uh guy with the, with the code. Or with the key, I mean. So, apparently not. So, there we go. Alright, there's that. We're... So we'll have to go. We'll have to go over here, I bet. Kind of looks like it. So. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on, game. I, I did I make fun of your mother somewhere or something? Cause you you're kind of treat. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait till he does it again. I guess I'm just not like in the right spot for it to activate or something. Uh, that's probably all me. Okay, uh, no, I'll just I'll just say it's me and be done with it. It's probably me. But yeah, like I said, I am slightly a little tired, so probably. Ah, oh, now he's oh, he's not gonna check the code because. Looks like the alarm's still going. Go away! You can't see anything. I'm a chameleon. See, there you go. Sounds like the alarm's still going off, so I can probably... I can probably go over there now. <laughs> it counts, right? It's a seven, I assume. All right, where's the other one down that way? Okay. Actually, where's that, uh... Where's the safety thing again? I'm Oh, I think I can't go into it anyway because I'm in the middle of a mission, so... I was about to say, hey, maybe I should stop by the safe really quick while I'm here. I'm like, no, probably shouldn't because... Yeah, usually it... I think it's because it's a scene transition or something. Or area transition or whatever you want to call it. Seriously, guys, go away. No! Oh, oh, he, oh, he did enough damage to kill me. Or knock me out, I mean. <laughs> he sent my... He sent my watery tail to the bottom of the seas with all the fishes. Got goldfishes. Oh, is that why I got caught? Because of the, like, the bad guys like that? But anyway, sorry. Alright. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, so there you are. Let's get that key from you. Get to the key. Oh, wait, no, is that? Alright, there's that. And then set the alarm. Looks like I have to climb pretty high for that one. Oh, can I not climb that from there? No. Oh. Um, uh, okay. Can I see it from there? Do I have to? Probably not. Nuts. Well, it looked like I could have climbed up there, so... Oh, well, he's... <laughs> he's already going back anyway. Wow, that one kind of went by a little a little quicker than I thought it would. Alright, let's try that again. Hopefully that should be far enough if I do it over here. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Come on. Be no! I fell. Oh. Man, I'm just not... <laughs> Apparently my platforming skills are very weak today because I'm just like... I'm just derping it up like a storm. I'm derping it up like a storm on a hill. Wait, what? It's... Oh, okay. I was about to say, did he already do it? Okay, no, he didn't. Good. Yay, okay. we got the code. Finally. Code. Nice work, partner. <sighs> yeah, I screwed that up too many times. Yeesh. Oh, and there's the same thing. Let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Yay. At least something's going on. Right? Actually, it hasn't been that bad, but still. Okay. Anyway. Why is there a stealth spot in here? That's why I want to know. That must be just a mechanic. Like, if they put certain things in there, it just has to follow those rules no matter what it is. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I'd thought. I believe the code is 248. 140, huh? I actually don't know what my IQ is. IQ is usually based off, like, age as well as a number of other factors, so... Hmm. He got his arm! Oh, God! No! Oh, Lontos. I don't know what that is. Oh, whoops. I, I forgot the game always explains it to you, like, but... Oh, or not. I assume maybe, since it's not showing up on here, it must be like a... Maybe you can throw, like, like that alarm clock ability or something like that. You can throw that or something farther away or something. I'm thinking that, but I could be wrong. All right, so we got one more thing with Sly, and then that's it. And then we'll do the the little little last area type of thing. I think. I'll double check. Because, yeah, it's inside there. I forgot, were there any, like, really quick, easy ways to get in there from here? The, I mean, the, the, um, the jail or whatever. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. The day is mine, Trebek. I will enter inside this, this, uh, prison. The prison, that's the word I was trying to look for. I think I said that last episode. I was trying to, I was like, well, it technically is a jail, but that's not the word I'm looking for. I don't know why jail just, just, uh, um, was eluding me. Yeah, just, that happens to me in, like, real life. Like, just sometimes just certain words or phrases or whatever just, like, won't, like, kick in for some reason. Like, I, I like I won't be able to, like, just put the word to it, you know? That might be a combination of age and forgetfulness and all that. Need to, you know, earn, uh, need to use some more Ginkgo Biloba or something like that. Is that still a thing anymore? Does that actually work? I don't... I remember that people used to talk about that regularly, and then kind of just, kind of just, uh, people stopped talking about it. So maybe it isn't a thing. Maybe it doesn't work or something. You know, like one of those miracle drugs, or like, oh, it's the, you know, snake oil salesman type of situation, maybe. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. Look, Bentley. With all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. 
I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. A giant attack robot. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. I just wanted to make sure you and me, we both agree that that what, what that is, right? Okay. Whoa! Uh, don't stand right next to him. Don't stand next to lightning. lightning. I do. Rod starts to glow red. That means a lightning bolt is on the way. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Oh, I must have missed that treasure. I'll have to do that later. Uh, I thought I found all the treasures in the land that I was doing off screen, but okay. We'll wait for it to. Uh, I'm trying to jump on there and then I could get knocked off. Alright, get up there, thank you. No, come on. There we go. Wait, no. Did nice I do that wrong? That lightning rod okay. is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods. I, th I thought I was like doing it wrong there for a second. I was like, no, no, it just took a second for me to render it. So, yeah, I'll have to remember to come back here off screen and get that treasure. Uh, okay, so there's one that way, so we'll go to that one. Uh, what's the best way? Let's go back this way. I wonder how many towers she's got. But yeah, we're, we're basically destroying super robot giant, or super giant robot awesome time. It was like over here or something like that. There's that one. I thought I saw that one like one over here earlier. Okay, I was about to say, I thought there was one like right there. Yeah, I remember these from, from earlier. That one, I was about to say that one wasn't doing anything. Okay, let's get out of there. Nope, out of the way. Out of the way, bat thingy. I don't want to mess with you. Let me sneak and do my stealthiness. Okay, I'll get... That's supposed to get them off my butt, but sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. Off my raccoon tail. Get off my tail. Get out of my car and into my life. Or however that goes. Alright. Where is that dreams? Remember. Can't remember the song now. Okay. Oh. I, oh, ah. Uh, I got struck by a bolt of lightning. A what? A bolt of lightning! There we go. I think you just have to turn each of them once. I don't know why I was like trying to find some pattern in them, you know? Just like, oh, you've got to do this and this. Okay, this controller's not working. There we go. Okay, so there's one there. So, for some reason, for a second, I thought I saw another treasure. So, okay, so there's one over. Is that back inside the jail? So I guess it is. Back inside the jail. We find ourselves worrying about lightning and stuff. Isn't there like a. I thought there was like a. Here, like quickly to get inside, but I guess not. Uh, okay, let me think. I was trying to try to find the quickest way. I think I saw like a. Yeah, I saw that. I think I saw maybe something. Maybe something over here. So I see that. Whoa! Oh, almost. 
Because I thought there was like one of those grates or whatever you can. Oh, or climb up. Just get over the end. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you, game. See, I sing your praises when, when you when you reward me with treats and easy access. Uh, uh, okay. I'm just trying to think of a... Oh, there's one over there, too. Okay, so the last two are over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Where is... Oh, okay. Now I see all these things. Let's go over here. Get on top of there, and then we shall play the role of Zeus as we as we control the lightning strikes. Did that turn? Uh oh, it's coming! Oh, huh. I was able to like get in the cutscene or whatever you want to call it, or like animation animated sequence, so I didn't take the hit. Ah, uh, invincibility spheres! Don't you love them? Wait, didn't I? Oh, okay. that's, that's a different spot. I was like, I was like, didn't I already take care of that one or something? Like that? All right, so final one is up here. Okay, how am I gonna get up there? Oh, there. Grab that, or jump on that. All right, turn. Whoa, no! Oof, would have been blinded by science there. All right, is that it? That's it. Giant attack robot. Well, I guess never, I guess never, uh, not not trust the 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 giant tech nerd when it comes to giant robots. Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, You'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. All right, time to release our buddy, old pal, old friend, old chap. Let's get started. This might this might end up being either another really long episode or a uh, or a, a two-parter. It, it depends on how I'm feeling. First, let's sell our treasures from before. I'll just, I'll just get the. Um, uh, okay, so we got crystal. Yeah, I got a couple things off screen, so I'll buy the adrenaline. Then we'll do Atlas Strength since Mary is in our group. But off screen, I'll get the other treasure that I didn't get from before. Ooh, exact change. Uh, okay, adrenaline rush. Run like it. Oh, that's okay. I mentioned in a previous episode how I thought there was an ability either in this one or the next game that made the character run faster. So it's this one. So okay. It basically gives them a burst of speed. Um, it doesn't stay around, you know what I mean? It's it's like one of those temporary things. So, uh, yeah, adrenaline rush. Let's just do no R two on that. I'll show you. I think you hold it down. But yeah, it just has him run all comical like. But anyway, let's get his little. Okay, okay hijack slide. a tank. I'm heading out for the tank. Nope, I, I didn't mean to do that actually. Wrong button. There we go. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not, like, it's not like Bentley's that slow, but, you know. Uh oh. Well, apparently, his bombs almost knock him out immediately. Oh, I should have bombed that guy, actually. There we go. Alright, let's get. We get to drive a tank! Tank, son! All right, time to go in, guns blazing. I'm inside the tank, increasing the ride height on the treads. There, that should give you enough room. Hide, uh, oh, we have to hide under the tank. And let's get uh, moving. Uh, okay. Huh, this one's interesting. I can't see you down you there, so try to keep up and stay out of sight. And don't get crushed by the treads. 
That wouldn't be a good day. That's my thieving off. I think I ran over by a train tank tread. Whoa. I don't know why, every time I think of tanks, I always think of either Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, or... I'm trying to think of another. Oh, there was the this... An Let's see if they fall there was a... It. There was a mango a long time ago by the Dragon Ball creator Fuck called... Ours. I think it was called... Uh, it was called, like, Sand World, or desert tank or something like that. It was basically the main character was like an older man who basically drove a tank in a desert world and that's pretty much the plot of it. I never actually read it so I don't know if it was any good or not. I just remember that being a thing. Oh, now we can get out. You okay. better get cool. out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay. You're all clear. Head inside and I'll be right behind you. Wouldn't that tank doing that cause like a major disturbance? Like everyone would be like, hey, why is the tank destroying that? Or wouldn't they come to the noise? Or Okay, whatever. I'm having some trouble sabotaging the tank. Go on ahead. I'll catch up. Yeah, it's not like you'd be able to do much in the physical aspects of this anyway, Bentley. I've got it. All I have to do is deal with the exploding spires, apparently. Didn't expect to see that today. Okay, there's no more monsters in the game. Okay, thank you. Oh, alright. Into the belly of the beast. Ooh, those doors look nasty. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. Okay. Oh, we can leave if we want to. I just don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to save Murray. I want to get out of here. Yeah, that's true. Sly is a man who thinks on his feet. Or raccoon. I go, ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, God. No! Oh, I make one mistake and it's all over for the raccoon. Oh! Okay. Okay, we're good now. We got this. Whoa. Did not expect that. That's just, just easier just to, just to just to do his voltage ability, you know. Okay, so we gotta get up there. I may actually end the episode at a regular place instead of uh, continue on because I don't know. Well, maybe I should do. Maybe I just keep recording and split it into two if it ever really comes down to that. Where do you go? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I know. I just like. I just like having the. Uh, I just like having the episodes flow about the same every time. So every time like an episode goes a little over, like goes a little over, it always it's always one of those cases of oh man, I want I want I want to like really go the, the mile, you know? I wanted to get that extra little. I wanted to flow better, you know, or something. Whoa! Did not expect that. All right, we're just gonna keep since we have that ability, might as well just keep shocking you guys. We'll just tell them shocking revelations about, like, the end of the final Avengers movie or something like that. <laughs> just, ah, uh, spoilers, dude! Actually, I don't know. By the, by the time of this recording, the final Avengers movie hasn't come out yet. Yeah, so. Alright. Alright, time to, time to tell you a sh some shocking news. Young people curse too much these days. Dang it. Actually, area isn't too bad in terms of uh, figuring out what to, how to get over there. Uh, do I need to climb up? Oh, ho. Aha, yes. I see. I see your trick. I see your exploding spiders of doom. And they hurt me, but uh, you know, they blew up. I mean, it hurt. I got over it. Was, was, those spiders are kind of cheap now that I think about it. Oh, do I need oh, no, no. Wait, or was I supposed to go? No. Because I know I'm supposed to get... Okay. Wait. 
No! Oh, no! No! Oh, come on! No! Are you kidding me, game? Oh. I mean, at least I know how to go there so I don't have to mess around, but still, come on, man. <laughs> game! I pressed the circle button! You should... Maybe I should take a break. I'm, I'm clearly not focused right now, that's for sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna, I think I will call the episode here. So it might be just the next episode might be a bit short. So, so will Sly and uh, Sly and Bentley be able to uh, save their friend Murray from a fate worse than death? No, little to no food and no wrestling shows for him. Find out next time in the next episode of, and I believe the the uh, ending of episode four of Sly Two Band of Thieves. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.